right, so I'm back, and today we're going to take a look at this uh, KO MP36 Megatron. Um, Infinite Transformation Emperor of Destruction. Now, I believe this is a different third-party company, just kind of doing a different name so that they can get away with doing a KO, uh, I think. My table's all skewed. That's what's wrong. Somebody moving my table. <laughs> okay. Uh, but anyway. Uh, but I don't know who the third party is. I have suspicions. But I, mean, I have no proof, so I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to spread rumors. Um, so yeah, uh, there's the instructions in case you wanted to see that. Here's the figure. Uh, we're not going to do the transformation. Um... I've already done the transformation on MP36, so there's not really a point to do that. Um, he seems slanted. Uh, I don't know why. Yeah, I, 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 saw, I saw a lot of videos, I read a lot of things uh, say that this is a superior version of Masterpiece Megatron. And so that's why I, that's why I picked it up. Um, so we're going to take a look at it. Um, so we'll look at some of the accessories. Um, pretty typical fare. You know, you got your stock and silencer. It's got some scrapes along the plastic here, scratches, paint chipping. Yeah, that was, that was one of the things about this that, like, I don't know if you can, how well you can see that or not. Yeah, there you go. Um, yeah, everyone's saying, like, oh yeah, this thing doesn't chip, it, paint doesn't scratch like the original one. And it's like, well, no. Kind of does. Um, so yeah, you get some paint flaws going on here, and here, and here. Um, everything, well, and paint flaws going on here. It's like it wasn't quite dried when they grabbed it. I don't know how well that's coming off. Like they painted it. And then grab the paint and just, it looks like it's stuck to a glove, is what it looks like. Alright, what else we got? We got the helmet. Um, some paint chipping going on here. Let me move Megatron out of the way so it can focus on what we're looking at. All right, so we got some paint chipping going on here, and here, 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 a little bit here. Yeah. No paint chipping on this KO. And then let's see here. No, if it's on his head, just fine. Um, All right, and then we've got the mace and the alter alternate uh, doohickey um, so that you can pose him with the mace in the air. These joints seem a little loose, but it seems to be holding just fine, so uh, no real issues on this. Uh, you get the beam sword. Um, this bubble looks doesn't look so great, but you know it is what it is. Some paint chipping going on here. <sighs> uh, we got the key to vector sigma. Well, that looks fine. No issues on that. 
We got a little Crimzeek. <laughs> uh, it looks like the paintbrush got way out of hand here and here and here. <laughs> and there's a uh, flash going on. Yeah. You got pistol. Um, some paint chipping going on here. A little bit here. Some here. Some here. Now, I, I know, you know, I don't usually nitpick like this, okay? Um, you guys know me. I don't really nitpick. You know, a couple little scrapes, a couple little chips here and there. And typically, I'm like, yeah, whatever. Move on. Um, the reason why I'm pointing all this stuff out is because a lot of reviews and things that I saw on this particular figure, this Infinite Transformation Emperor of Destruction, KO of MP36, uh, almost everybody said that it does not chip paint, and it's superior than the original figure. That's why I'm pointing all this out. It's not because I'm sitting here like, oh man, this is, this is terrible. It's just, this is what was reviewed by a lot of people and said this so that's why i'm focusing on these things because you know when they say when, you know i one of the reasons why i picked this up was because it does not chip paint or scrape like the original megatron because there wasn't enough clearance on that in certain areas so that's why i'm nitpicking because this is what i was going off of of other reviews um let's see here we've got a little scrape here and here. And that looks good. Since it's the battle damage chest piece, um, you mean you wouldn't notice there's a paint scrape on it. I mean, it's kind of goes. Alright, and then we can take this off. Um, you got a couple little spots here and here. This will just slide on. Just like that. So, no issues on that part of it. Uh, let's take a look at the faces and then we'll look at the figure. Uh, so, you get this the laughing face, um, kind of like that baked in plastic fleck. Uh, looks good. A little bit of a smudge here. Nothing, nothing major on that. Well, there's a scrape there. I think that's going to be held by, uh, covered by the helmet, so it shouldn't be a problem for you. But it is there. No paint scraping on this thing at all, right, guys? Uh, here's the battle damaged look. Um, looks pretty clean no no issues on that one uh, then we've got the yelling face uh, looks pretty clean and then we got the stuck face so you got a little smudge on his nose here that came off so we're good So, let's take a look at the figure here. We'll go over articulation and stuff like that as we go. Uh, there's one other, er, well, let's take this off here. Let's look at this guy. We got paint scraping on here. Here, focusing on Megatron again. Some paint scraping on there, uh, flash there, little paint chip there. Other than that, looks good. I don't know if the voice thing works because I don't have, you know, I don't have batteries for it. I don't know if it even, I, th I think it does. 
open them up real quick, see if there's guts in there. Yeah, there's places for the batteries, that's for sure. So, uh, maybe, maybe it does have it, maybe it doesn't, I don't know. And then there's one other piece of accessory that this comes with that um, did not come with the original. And that's this, and it's this back piece here. And it's not coming off. There we go. Um, so it's just this back piece here. Um, just a straight gray plastic. You got some flash going on there. Um, but basically, rather than trying to make this look cleaner, man, look at this flash on these things. Like, I'm glad I'm not transforming it because, you know, if I'm transforming it, you know, there's so little clearance things going on with this figure that these kind of flash points, you know, it might not work. It might not even transform. Um, anyway, so, you know, as you can see, I've got some flop issues going on here uh, and here. <laughs> Oh man, I mean this thing is just See this one's tight, but this whole assembly here is is just I mean it's <sighs> Superior to the original, huh? I don't know. I don't know guys. I just don't know All right, and then that fits on and it just kind of covers up the back there so that it's not so uh, messy um, it, it doesn't do anything to really fix the issue. It just covers it up. <laughs> um, so yeah, superior in every way, right? Um, head is on a ball joint, uh, so you get the left, right, up, down. Um, this is loose on my copy anyway. Um, so it's like anytime I go to like manipulate the figure or pick it up, it just slides out goes right back in so it's not like end of the world problem but it's just a little bit of an annoyance um you can hear like there's things that aren't quite tight in this um ratcheted shoulders ratcheted in and out has the butterfly all that works well it still looks like a mess you know just like it's just now he's just got a little bit of a bigger backpack um, you know, this all still looks like a mess. This looks like a mess. Yeah, I, I didn't really care for the original because it just looks so messy. Um, so all this works well. Bicep swivel bends at the elbow. Um, now this plastic is, um, it's not painted. It's, um, it's like, uh, baked in uh, with the plastic flex so it's, I don't think you're going to get any chipping on that uh, but I could be wrong um, as you can see I also have an issue with the hand falling out um, so that's that's a wonderful wonderful um, thing to have happen um, yeah uh, his hands do rotate uh, thumb hinges in and out Two, fing two joints at the pointer and then two joints at the rest of the fingers. Waist swivel, uh, no ab crunch. I don't think the original one had it. Now, I, I do believe uh, that the legs were lengthened a tad uh, and these pieces were too. I don't have the original to compare it to so I can't sit here and tell you that, that for sure. Leg does move out of the way just fine. Out to the side just fine, but it does not, the ratchet does not hold. Um, thigh swivel. Now, I cannot remember if this is the same as the original one, but the gray here and the die cast here that has like a, more of a metallic finish on it do not match. It's very clear they do not match. Um, so if that's a deal breaker for you, just 
just be mindful of that. Here, here's this hand back on. That just it just has like absolutely no friction to it. Bends at the knee. Uh, that's a nice tight bend. I don't think that's going anywhere. Uh, these this gray here. Uh, it's got some scraping here and here, um, but it looks great. It's a, a really good finish to it. Uh, and then the feet, of course, are the same die cast. You can see, you know, we got some floppage going on here. Um, same on this side. <laughs> so, uh, it just... Tab in, and it, and it almost seems like this leg is a little bit longer than this leg <laughs> because he keeps wanting to be to this side, and you know I've got the leg straight. It's just something's up. I just I don't know. I don't know, guys. Come on. All right. So, for a size comparison, let me him next to the make toys one and yeah so he's a little bit taller um, and I think that was partly the original figure but also the extension that they put onto this um, you know, face sculpt is infinitely better than his, um, but I, I think the body on this thing still looks a little bit better. But, I want to show you something, and show you reason, one of the main reasons why I decided I wanted to get an MP Megatron. Um, so it's like... When we're talking about the original Masterpiece figures, when they're standing on the shelf, they look like great individual pieces. This goes into that category. Um, the, like, MP10 and all that, they all look good, you know, as individual pieces. And the animation stuff doesn't look so great as individual pieces. It's something that I've nitpicked at before when we started going with the more animated look. But what I've learned is that, so there's the uh, uh, Robot Paradise or whatever it is, uh, Soundwave and the MP Shockwave. Starscream. So it's like, while, you know, some of the animated ones, uh, Shockwave's one of my biggest ones. Like, I, I just, I don't like the way he looks by himself. Um, I think, like, Quake Wave or um, Quake Blast look infinitely better. What I've learned, though, is that as a whole, the more animated look looks better for display purposes. They, I think they look better as a group, um, if that makes sense. Um, I think the, you know, when you get into the bigger collections now, 
Um, my theory is, is that the animated will look better as a whole, as opposed to the individual pieces that we had going. Um, you know, MP Soundwave, for example, you know, it's like he looks great on his own. Um, but when you have all these other animated figures, you know, animated style anyway, and you put uh, put him in there, he's going to stand out because he doesn't quite look like the rest. Uh, but you replace him with him, it looks better. And then they all look better as a whole. So I, that's my... That's my working progress is like, while I didn't like the animated stuff at first, now that we're getting a lot of them, um, I think that they're starting to look better um, as a whole. Maybe not individually, but as a whole. And uh, that's what I'm kind of going with. Whereas, like, you know, I would say this superior Megatron to the um, infinite whatever bullshit um i think the infinite looks better in my collection now for my thoughts on the whatever it's called um emperor of darkness or whatever bullshit um i can't recommend it i can't i just i can't you know, if you have the original Megatron or the original MP36, you're good. You know, don't buy this. Um, if you have the DX9 and you're happy with it, or the M8 toys and you're happy with it, don't buy this. Um, if you have no Megatron whatsoever, look at other options. I mean, look. The thing, like I said, the thing that... A that sold me on this figure is the fact that they said that it's superior in joints and superior with the the paint and how it will not flake off or chip. And that is just simply not true. I pointed out a bunch of paint flaws that I have. Not major ones, not to the point where I'm going to you know, you know, I'm gonna put this guy on the shelf until you know I find a good price on a tr uh, on a real one. Um, but you know, I mean, I'm satisfied with my purchase. I am not happy with my purchase. Um, there's nothing on this figure that makes me go, "Oh man, this is this is far superior to the original." And it's not. And I've always said it's a KO with a purpose is where I go. You know, if there's a KO and it does something that the original one can't do or does it better. For example, if so, if you know, they're knocking off they knocked off the star screen they knocked off the Thundercracker and the Sky Sky Warp. Why not repaint it as Acid Storm and all the rest? You know, that's that would be the easy money maker right there, in my opinion. You know, you you grab some some repaints that Takara hasn't done yet. You know, that's KO with a purpose. You know, or you know, KOing him so that his he's got better ankles and better knees, like everyone you know a lot of people had issues with. You know, okay, I get it. You know, or, you know, what if you KO'd this shockwave and gave him a really nice paint finish instead of what seems like a, um, just purple plastic, you know, like, let's give it a nice heavy paint on here, you know, make him look really, really good. Um, you know, that would be a KO with a purpose, you know, the fix on the paint, it's not true. It's just, it's just not true. Um, you, you saw the flaws I had, like I said, I'm not going to really bother me in the end, but that's what sold me on the figure. So I, I, you know, that, that it's already not true. So it's like, that's a huge problem, um, uh, for me. Um, just because I feel like that's, you know, I feel like that's not, it wasn't, I feel like I was hoodwinked. <laughs> um, you know, the fact that some of these plastic bits have, you know, such large chunks of flash on them. I don't want to take it apart, but you saw it earlier. Um, 
where I would be concerned on whether or not you would be able to transform it. Things like the hand flopping off every time I look at it. Uh, okay, now it's... Oh, there. It's the wrong... I was going the wrong way. But it's like the hand flops off, and it's like, oh, joy, let me put that back on. The fact that uh, the grays don't match in the legs, you know, that's that's kind of an eyesore. The fact that this is loose, you know, the fact that these rattle around, um, <laughs> you know, the fact that this is just flopping. And if this wasn't here, this back piece here was flopping all over the place. You know, it's just... It's not worth the price tag. Uh, it's not. Um, and yeah, see, so there's a little paint chipping going on in there, too. Um, and it's like, oh, there's a nice big scrape along the side. And I have not transformed this guy. You know, they're like, oh, yeah, you can flip this thing back and forth without fear of paint chipping. You know, that's what I heard. That's why I was like, okay, you know, I'll give it a try. And I'm, I'm telling you. I don't think it's going to survive a transformation, let alone the paint, um, you know, with all the floppiness that it already has. Uh, you know, and everyone can sit there and say, oh, maybe it's a key issue on your individual copy. I'm like, it's a fucking KO. It, you know, it's, it's like this was the selling point was that it was supposed to be superior to the original project, product, and it's not. So... I, I can't recommend this. Yes, it's at a cheaper price point, but you know what? You get what you pay for, too. You know, when they sit there and say that this is better than the original and it's cheaper, then it's like, that's where I was like, oh, well, we'll take a look. And it's like, it's not. It is not. I was debating on getting that KO MP44, and now I know I, I shouldn't. Um, you know, I, I always get angry when I buy a KO because it's like, you know, it's like, you know, the selling point people are always like, oh, yeah, well, it's better than the original. It's like, well, let's take a look. And you get it, and it's like, it's not. And then and then they change their tune, like, well, for its price, it's better. It's like, no. I'm, You know, if I'm going to drop $150 on a fucking KO, this thing better be awesome. You know, I mean, they don't have to do any engineering. They just have to fucking slap it together. Uh, you know, the figure's made, it's designed, so it's like, you know, that's where they're saving the mo most of their money, so it's just, I don't know, I'm just kind of rambling, but uh, for a score, I'm going to give it a 4 out of 10. Um, you know, it's it's fine. Um, I don't think it's, I don't think it's great. Uh, I'm keeping mine. Uh, like I said, you know, until I can find a good price on the on the original, like if they reissue it, I'm, I'm in. Um, because it's like it's I'm at that point now where it's like I can't overlook the fact that the Megatron that I had is not up to snuff uh, anymore. Um, and I really want to know why he's like leaning to the right. It's it's so weird. Uh, the legs are straight. It's just, he seems to want to lean to the right. His right. Uh, my left. It's, it's just... I mean, are you guys noticing this? It's it's not the table. Because look at the sound wave. You know, he's standing straight up and down. He's just kind of leaning. You know, is it the cannon? Is, is it just the weight is just... Could it be just the weight is just throwing them off? <laughs> I mean, that that would be a big problem too. Like, oh, I'm just a little heavier on the right, so I'm just going to lean. I don't know, guys. Uh, yeah, I can't, I can't recommend it. I can't. Um, yeah, I'm a little late in the game to, to really... You know, stop people from buying it, I'm sure, but I just, I don't think it's, I don't think it lives up to what it was said to be able to do in certain reviews, so I'm not pointing out names, I'm not going to call anybody out, uh, I'm just saying, um, you know, look at this, look at this, like, Superior to the original product. Superior. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Real superior there, guys. No. 
yeah. I'll keep it, but I'm not I'm not happy with it. I just yeah. Alright, uh, I guess that's it.